The Giza Pyramid Complex is an archaeological site on the Giza Plateau, on the outskirts of Cairo, Egypt. It includes the three great pyramids Khufu, Cheops, Khafre, Chephren and Menkori, Mykoinos, the Great Sphinx, several cemeteries, a workers' village and an industrial complex. It is located in the Western Desert, approximately 9 km 5 miles west of the Nile River at the old town of Giza, and about 13 km 8 miles southwest of Cairo city centre. The pyramids, which have historically been common as emblems of ancient Egypt in the Western imagination, were popularized in Hellenistic times, when the Great Pyramid was listed by Antipater of Sidon as one of the Seven Wonders of the World. It is by far the oldest of the ancient wonders and the only one still in existence. Pyramids and Sphinx The Pyramids of Giza consist of the Great Pyramid of Giza also known as the Pyramid of Cheops or Khufu and constructed c. 2580 c. 2560 BC, the somewhat smaller Pyramid of Khafre or Chephren a few hundred meters to the southwest, and the relatively modest-sized Pyramid of Menkori or Mykoinos a few hundred meters farther southwest. The Great Sphinx lies on the east side of the complex. Current consensus among Egyptologists is that the head of the Great Sphinx is that of Khafre. Along with these major monuments are a number of smaller satellite edifices, known as Queens, pyramids, causeways and valley pyramids. Khufu's Pyramid Complex Khufu's Pyramid Complex consists of a valley temple, now buried beneath the village of Nazlit el Salmon. Basalt paving and nummulitic limestone walls have been found, but the site has not been excavated. The valley temple was connected to a causeway which was largely destroyed when the village was constructed. The causeway led to the mortuary temple of Khufu. From this temple the basalt pavement is the only thing that remains. The mortuary temple was connected to the king's pyramid. The king's pyramid has three smaller queen's pyramids associated with it and five boat pits. The boat pits contained a ship, and the two pits on the south side of the pyramid still contained intact ships. One of these ships has been restored and is on display. Khufu's pyramid still has a limited collection of casing stones at its base. These casing stones were made of fine white limestone quarried from the nearby range. Khafri's <laughs> pyramid complex Khafri's pyramid complex consists of a valley temple, the Sphinx Temple, a causeway, a mortuary temple and the King's Pyramid. The valley temple yielded several statues of Khafre. Several were found in a well in the floor of the temple by Mariette in 1860. Others were found during successive excavations by Sieglin 1909-10, Junker, Reisner, and Hassan. Khafri's complex contained five boat pits and a subsidiary pyramid with a serdab. Khafri's pyramid appears larger than the adjacent Khufu pyramid by virtue of its more elevated location, and the steeper angle of inclination of its construction. It is, in fact, smaller in both height and volume. Khafri's pyramid retains a prominent display of casing stones at its apex. Topic: Menkori's Pyramid Complex. 
Menkori's pyramid complex consists of a valley temple, a causeway, a mortuary temple, and the king's pyramid. The valley temple once contained several statues of Menkori. During the 5th dynasty, a smaller anti-temple was added onto the valley temple. The mortuary temple also yielded several statues of Menkori. The king's pyramid has three subsidiary or queen's pyramids. Of the four major monuments, only Menkori's pyramid is seen today without any of its original polished limestone casing. Topic: <laughs> Sphinx. The Sphinx dates from the reign of King Khafre. During the New Kingdom, Amenhotep II dedicated a new temple to Hauron Hermaket and this structure was added onto by later rulers. <laughs> Tomb of Queen Kentkaus I Kentkaus I was buried in Giza. Her tomb is known as LG 100 and G 8400 and is located in the central field, near the valley temple of Menkori. The pyramid complex of Queen Kentkaus includes, her pyramid, a boat pit, a valley temple and a pyramid town. Construction. Most construction theories are based on the idea that the pyramids were built by moving huge stones from a quarry and dragging and lifting them into place. The disagreements center on the method by which the stones were conveyed and placed and how possible the method was. In building the pyramids, the architects might have developed their techniques over time. They would select a site on a relatively flat area of bedrock—not sand—which provided a stable foundation. After carefully surveying the site and laying down the first level of stones, they constructed the pyramids in horizontal levels, one on top of the other. For the Great Pyramid of Giza, most of the stone for the interior seems to have been quarried immediately to the south of the construction site. The smooth exterior of the pyramid was made of a fine grade of white limestone that was quarried across the Nile. These exterior blocks had to be carefully cut, transported by river barge to Giza, and dragged up ramps to the construction site. Only a few exterior blocks remain in place at the bottom of the Great Pyramid. During the Middle Ages 5th century to 15th century, people may have taken the rest away for building projects in the city of Cairo, to ensure that the pyramid remained symmetrical, the exterior casing stones all had to be equal in height and width. Workers might have marked all the blocks to indicate the angle of the pyramid wall and trimmed the surfaces carefully so that the blocks fit together. During construction, the outer surface of the stone was smooth limestone, excess stone has eroded as time has passed. Purpose. The pyramids of Giza and others are thought to have been constructed to house the remains of the deceased pharaohs who ruled over ancient Egypt. A portion of the pharaoh's spirit called his car was believed to remain with his corpse. Proper care of the remains was necessary in order for the former pharaoh to perform his new duties as king of the dead. It's theorized the pyramid not only served as a tomb for the pharaoh, but also as a storage pit for various items he would need in the afterlife. The people of ancient Egypt believed that death on earth was the start of a journey to the next world. 
The embalmed body of the king was entombed underneath or within the pyramid to protect it and allow his transformation and ascension to the afterlife. <laughs> Astronomy The sides of all three of the Giza pyramids were astronomically oriented to the north-south and east-west within a small fraction of a degree. Among recent attempts to explain such a clearly deliberate pattern are those of S. Jark, O. Norgebauer, K. Spence, D. Rawlins, K. Pickering, and J. Belmont. The arrangement of the pyramids is a representation of the Orion constellation according to the disputed Orion correlation theory. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Workers Village. The work of quarrying, moving, setting, and sculpting the huge amount of stone used to build the pyramids might have been accomplished by several thousand skilled workers, unskilled laborers and supporting workers. Bakers, carpenters, water carriers, and others were also needed for the project. Along with the methods utilized to construct the pyramids, there is also wide speculation regarding the exact number of workers needed for a building project of this magnitude. When Greek historian Herodotus visited Giza in 450 BC, he was told by Egyptian priests that the Great Pyramid had taken 400,000 men 20 years to build, working in three-month shifts 100,000 men at a time." Evidence from the tombs indicates that a workforce of 10,000 laborers working in three-month shifts took around 30 years to build a pyramid. The Giza pyramid complex is surrounded by a large stone wall, outside which Mark Lenner and his team discovered a town where the pyramid workers were housed. The village is located to the southeast of the Khafre and Menkori complexes. Among the discoveries at the workers' village are communal sleeping quarters, bakeries, breweries, and kitchens with evidence showing that bread, beef, and fish were staples of the diet, a hospital and a cemetery where some of the skeletons were found with signs of trauma associated with accidents on a building site. The workers' town appears to date from the middle 4th dynasty BC, after the accepted time of Khufu and completion of the Great Pyramid. According to Lena and the AERA team, "...the development of this urban complex must have been quite rapid." All of the construction probably happened in the 35 to 50 years that spanned the reigns of Khafre and Menkori, builders of the second and third Giza pyramids. Without carbon dating, using only pottery shards, seal impressions, and stratigraphy to date the site, the team further concludes. The picture that emerges is that of a planned settlement, some of the world's earliest urban planning, securely dated to the reigns of two Giza pyramid builders, Khafre BC and Menkori BC. Topic Cemeteries As the pyramids were constructed, the mastabas for lesser royals were constructed around them. Near the Pyramid of Khufu, the main cemetery is G7000 which lies in the east field located to the east of the main pyramid and next to the Queen's Pyramids. These cemeteries around the pyramids were arranged along streets and avenues. Cemetery G7000 was one of the earliest and contained tombs of wives, sons and daughters of these 4th dynasty rulers. 
On the other side of the pyramid in the west field, the royal's sons were Pemnifre and Hemiunu were buried in Cemetery G1200 and Cemetery G4000 respectively. These cemeteries were further expanded during the 5th and 6th dynasty. <laughs> west field The west field is located to the west of Kufu's pyramid. It is divided into smaller areas such as the cemeteries referred to as the Abu Bakr excavations 1949-50, to one and 1953, and several cemeteries named based on the Mastaba numbers such as Cemetery G1000, Cemetery G1100, etc. The west field contains Cemetery G1000, Cemetery G1600, and Cemetery G1900. Further cemeteries in this field are, Cemeteries G2000, G2200, G2500, G3000, G4000, and G6000. Three other cemeteries are named after their excavators, Junker Cemetery West, Junker Cemetery East and Steindorf Cemetery. <laughs> East Field The East Field is located to the east of Kufu's Pyramid and contains Cemetery G7000. This cemetery was a burial place for some of the family members of Khufu. The cemetery also includes mastabas from tenants and priests of the pyramids dated to the 5th dynasty and 6th dynasty. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Cemetery GIS This cemetery dates from the time of Menkori or earlier Reisner, and contains several stone-built mastabas dating from as late as the 6th dynasty. Tombs from the time of Menkori include the mastabas of the royal chamberlain Chemnefit, the king's son Kufujadef was master of the royal largesse, and an official named Nyankra. Topic: Central Field. The Central Field contains several burials of royal family members. The tombs range in date from the end of the Fourth Dynasty to the Fifth Dynasty, or even later. Tombs dating from the site and later period were found near the causeway of Khafre and the Great Sphinx. These tombs include the tomb of a commander of the army named Armose and his mother Queen Naktubastarau, who was the wife of Pharaoh Amasis II. Southfield <laughs> South Field The South Field includes some mastabas dating from the Second Dynasty and Third Dynasty. One of these early dynastic tombs is referred to as the Covington tomb. Other tombs date from the late Old Kingdom, 5th and 6th dynasty. The south section of the field contains several tombs dating from the site period and later. Topic: <laughs> Tombs of the Pyramid Builders. In 1990, tombs belonging to the pyramid workers were discovered alongside the pyramids with an additional burial site found nearby in 2009. Although not mummified, they had been buried in mud brick tombs with beer and bread to support them in the afterlife. The tomb's proximity to the pyramids and the manner of burial supports the theory that they were paid laborers who took great pride in their work and were not slaves, as was previously thought. 
Evidence from the tombs indicates that a workforce of 10,000 laborers working in three-month shifts took around 30 years to build a pyramid. Most of the workers appear to have come from poor families. Specialists such as architects, masons, metalworkers and carpenters, were permanently employed by the king to fill positions that required the most skill. <laughs> New Kingdom and Late Period During the New Kingdom, Giza was still an active site. A brick-built chapel was constructed near the Sphinx during the early 18th dynasty, probably by King Thutmose I. Amenhotep II built a temple dedicated to Hauron Hermaket near the Sphinx. Pharaoh Thutmose IV visited the pyramids and the Sphinx as a prince and in a dream was told that clearing the sand from the Sphinx would be rewarded with kingship. This event is recorded in the Dream Stealer. During the early years of his reign, Thutmose IV together with his wife Queen Nefertari had stele erected at Giza. Pharaoh Tutankhamun had a structure built, which is now referred to as the King's Rest House. During the 19th dynasty, Seti I added to the temple of Hauron Hermaket, and his son Ramesses II erected a stela in the chapel before the Sphinx and usurped the rest house of Tutankhamun. During the 21st dynasty, the temple of Isis, mistress of the pyramids, was reconstructed. During the 26th dynasty, a stela made in this time mentions Khufu and his queen Henutsen. Topic. See also Egyptian pyramids List of archaeoastronomical sites by country List of Egyptian pyramids List of largest monoliths in the world includes section on calculating weight of megaliths Outline of Egypt